We're here at Bike Shed Festival at Lydon Hill. Um, we've had a manic day, there's been loads of racing, everyone's had an absolutely brilliant time and this has really been a day that's all about taking the wrong sort of bike onto a track because as far as we're concerned at Bike Shed, everybody who has a motorcycle should at least once get to experience being on a track and being on a race grid and watching those red lights go out and feeling that adrenaline and that thrill but also it's about having a really good time and us putting on a festival event. So me and Dan have commandeered a gator and we'll give you a quick tour. Come on Dan. So Jimbo showed me earlier, he said press some buttons. I think I put it in H and yep. then we go. Handbrake. Handbrake, oh handbrake, yeah I've done that. Dan, look at that Kawasaki, it's really nice. When I was about 11, that was all I ever used to do was draw those, well the Z900s on my pencil case. So this is the lower part of, I guess, the retail -y, foodie village bit um, where we've got all sorts of brands selling things and people selling really nice food. Gold Top over there, we've got Eudoxy, Triumph Laguna, coffee places making nice coffee. Uh, Motor Guzia here, we've got Royal Enfield. And this is one of my favorite parts of the whole of Lyddon because this is the dummy grid. Now this is the first bit you line up on um, you have your allocated number depending on how fast you were in qualifying and practice. Get yourself set, get yourself in position. When everybody's assembled and the track is clear, you roll out onto the grid proper for your race. And uh, this is where the adrenaline really starts pumping. So now we're in the paddock. And if I can drive this thing without crashing. Um, here are the assembled loons and nut jobs who've been riding and racing all day. It is where all the chat happens, where people are kicking tires, comparing bikes. And what you'll see is an awful lot of bikes that are not the normal bikes you would see at a track day. This is all about people racing Harley Davidsons with foot forward controls and eight bars in the Easy Rider Cup. There are cafe racers in the Cafe Racer Cup, which is going to be on tomorrow. All sorts of street bikes, got retro racers, the old carbureted up, just like this uh, GPZ600R. And we've got dirt bikes that are going to be in the Dirt Bike Cup. Actually, this Vitpolin is the perfect sort of bike to be taking out in the street cup. And all these people are here having a really, really good time without any pressure, just enjoying themselves and having as much fun as possible. So I think we have about 260 racers. I lost count. And you will vaguely see over there the track. Um, and we'll probably see that when we get up to the top, when we get to near where the Malay boys are doing their trials. But first, more of the village. Beautifully liveried vehicles, making sure that Bike Shed is represented. Some bike parking to the right for some of our hunters and visitors who come here for the day. And we're gonna drive in now to the upper part of the village. So we've got more brands. Um, Herald are up here. We've also got Hermanus from Bruges. Coffee and cake, they do really good flat whites and really nice coffee cake. Two Wheels for Life, which is I think the official MotoGP charity where they get people on bikes delivering medicine to inaccessible places around the world. Obviously Head and are here um, with their fantastic helmets. Revit are here as they always are at Bike Shed events, um, looking after us and uh, playing their part in making sure we put on some great events. And in the distance you can see Callum's brand new build, I think is, uh, he says maybe his last one of one builds ever, so um, we'll be revealing that a little bit later and I'm sure Dan will be doing a story and we'll have some stuff on the, um, on the website as well. Over there in that marquee is the bike shed shop um, and also very importantly is the bar and we'll all be there later drinking beers when all the races is done. But right now let's see if I can turn this thing around without crashing and get us over to the Malay trials. Dan, let me know if I'm about to take anybody out. This is great, why haven't I been on one of these all day? I've been walking miles. I need to pull the boss rank thing more often. Right, so Lydon Hill really is a big hill. And what you don't see in videos and um, photos of this event is quite how steep it is, especially going up to the hair bit. I'm not sure if you'll really see it now either, but take it from me and listen to the sound of the engine. We're going up a big hill. Enfield are up here as well at the event over this weekend. They've been letting people test ride some of their new bikes based on the new 650 Twin. And they've got the Himalayan, or however you're supposed to say that, the GT, um, Continental, um, and the Interceptor. So all sorts of bikes to play around on. And you get a little bit of a sense of the elevation from here. So in fact, let me drive right over here. It's a little bit off-roady, this thing. But as you can see, Lydon Hill is a hill. So 
Dan, come back now, stop filming the hill. We've got places to go and things to do. So this is the very top of the course. And uh, hopefully when we get this part past this point here, you'll see what's going on in the Malay Trials. Lidden Hill's also a dog-friendly circuit, one of the few in the land, which is brilliant. So down there, coming up the side of the hill, the Malay London boys have been kind enough to lend us their talents to bring a little taster of what Malay racing is all about with the Malay Trials. And we've got the dash and the cross, and I think that looks like someone's just won the dash on some kind of Suzuki. And, uh, and then after that, I think the winners of both get to take part in the derby. But it's all the fantastic loveliness that Malay bring to an event, um, old school vibes. But we'll go round and we'll drive down and get to the bottom of the hill and we'll see what the crowd's doing down there. What you can see from here is the whole of the course. Lidden Hill is basically a big sperm whale shaped track. It's like a backwards brand's hatch with about 80% the size. It's a really, really easy track to learn, really, really good fun, and uh, a brilliant track for novices, but also if you're an experienced rider, it's a track you can really get up some good pace, and it's a track that levels the playing field. It doesn't really matter what you're riding. You can be very, very quick here on a 600cc single, as well as on a litre sports bike. So, ballet racing on the hill, and uh, we put up this little marquee where um, Anna from the shop will be on the decks later being top DJ and playing some tunes for the people that want to drink beer and party tonight. And in fact, I'm going to stop here for a minute because this is a great view of the track that we don't normally get. So imagine a big squished rubber band around an L shape opened up over that right hand corner into a big wide sweeping curve. Um, then there's a, the one proper left um, which I think is called the Devil's Elbow, and then you go up the hill and there's a really, really tight hairpin at the top. And I've never taken that the same way twice every time I've gone round this track. It's absolutely brilliant. And there are some bikes coming, so I better get on a safe side of the road. Looks like we're going all continental and driving on the wrong side. This is my favourite spot, I think, because this is the middle of the whole of the track. And this is where you can see pretty much everything from all angles. The Malay boys have their trendy stretch tent up at the back, which looks like a pyramid. And this is the paddock area. I'm going to pull up here and jump out. Oh, James, I've never seen James running before. Better get that on camera, Dan. Oh, no, he stopped. Ah, uh, oh, he was being all athletic. Then. Dan, shall we jump out and take a look? So this is something we wanted to do for ages. We wanted to get the Malay boys here and we wanted them to bring some of their madness and fun and their quirky sense of old school Britishness to the bike shed event. And we've always seen them as friends in the business and we love what they do. So this is exactly the vibe of the Malay Mile, but in miniature. So if you came here without a tent, obviously you need a wingman of the road from Goose and that is their setup. That's um, my bike. <clears throat> Is that your bike? Yeah. Brilliant. Dan's bike is the setup for Wingman of the Road. And here is the Bike Shed Club Lounge, um, where all the party action will be happening later tonight. But oh, the most interesting great. and important bit, apart from the beer over there, is the Malay Trials. So this is what it's all about. Bunting, hay bales, dirt bikes, and tearing up the lawn. So that was just a whistle-stop tour of Lydon Hill Bike Shed Festival. I hope you enjoyed it, but what's most important is Ross doing really cool skids to ruin the take. Yeah, but, how good is this? Oh, this is brilliant. So this is the finale of, the, of the today's racing. It's the Motley Cup. So these are the fastest 32 riders from all the different classes of racing today, regardless of what sort of bike they're on, whether it's an easy rider, a 125, a street bike, a whatever bike and a retro racer, and really this sums up what this whole event did, did is I all about. Did I see Hogan in the lead on his bagger? If you oh, did, on lap one. that would have been excellent and well deserved. But how brilliant is that? Did you have a look from up the top on a race start and see them all buzzing Not around? on a race start, but we did get the shot of the track. How good is that?
I hope you enjoyed this whistle stop tour of Lydenhead. <clears throat> so I, uh, I, I fluffed up my lines. You'll have to do it again. Oh.